Girl, you know just how to get my attention. A lot of bullshit from the past I can mention. Come fuck me, you know I don't like tension. You ain't really fuck with me way back then, but how about now? Cause I'm up right now, and you simply suck right now. Hey. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For those who are new here, I am Bree. And um, this is pretty much my two months post-op video. I'm finally two months as of tomorrow. And um, I'm super excited for, you know, looking at my results, looking for the fluff fairy, all that fun stuff. So I've still been continuing my journey going to the gym since I just had a birthday a couple weeks ago. I haven't really been in the gym as often since I was really preparing and getting myself together for my trip in Miami, celebrating my birthday out there. And um, so pretty much, you know, what I've been doing or what I was trying to do was pretty much go to the gym like five days out of the week, which I've been like continuing it back up since my birthday. And I've been trying to do like an hour each day. So I'm not doing too much like cardio or anything that's gonna like make me like lose weight, but I've been just doing like stuff that's been like muscle, like gaining muscle and like you know my butt area and stuff like that and not trying to lose muscle and stuff like that so I've been doing a lot of floor workouts and um using a couple of their glute machines so I'll be inserting like little two clips of videos of me um, working out at the end of this clip but um I always be like oh because I see different people at the gym or whatever doing like videos of them working out and stuff like that and I get so nervous doing it because I'm just like am I even doing this right I don't want to be recording myself and see me recording myself and I'm not even doing this correctly but um I'm gonna answer like two um two clips of the machines that I like to use at the gym and like I said I do um do some floor workouts so I could also the videos that I look at while I'm at the gym, um, I find them on YouTube, so I can um, insert their links down below so you guys can see exactly what I'm watching and what floor workouts exactly that I'm doing. So each video that I watch, like both of them are two 10 minute videos and I'm telling you like the first, since I'm not really like an athletic person and everything like that and I just out of, I haven't been to the gym in like since before my daughter was born, so she's now four years old. So. I haven't been to the gym in like a good four years so I was going to the, when I first started to even go to the gym this is before I was even pregnant with her and then I got pregnant with her and then started to go to the gym a little bit more but then stopped because I got lazy was working a lot and then towards like the last month of my pregnancy with her I started to go to the gym because my doctor was saying I wasn't dilating enough for how far along I was and everything so I started to go to the gym and stuff like that so I can you know get dilated and everything like that but I haven't been to the gym in four years so I feel like I'm out of shape even though I'm like I look like I'm in shape but I'm out of shape mentally wise as in like I'll do like do some Stairmasters and I'm just like already tired and I'm looking at the next person they've done I'm looking at their time they're freaking done 20 minutes in and they don't look tired and I'm like barely three minutes in and I'm like <sighs> okay let me stop this machine and get off and go to the next one because I'm tired so like I've been um, getting better obviously on all the equipments and stuff like that with time wise as in like I can go longer now without being tired obviously but at the same time I still try to push myself and get things through but okay so with the two with me being two months post-op and like I said with me going to the gym I started as you guys whoever been following my journey I've been going to the gym at four weeks and I definitely feel like going to the gym has been literally helping me soften my butt areas because anyone who's gotten a bbl or who's going to get a bbl your butt is extremely hard like a rock like you can't even like when you touch it like it's literally no cushion no nothing it's like literally rock hard so with me going to the gym i feel like definitely it's been fluffing my butt out a little bit more and you know getting the process started and also um making my butt a lot softer um and everything but I also wanted to let you guys know because, you know, when I was going through my journey of, um, you know, my BBL journey and everything like that and just like been watching everybody's um, YouTube videos and stuff like that, I didn't hear or come across too many videos, a lot of girls saying that they had this problem. Um, I am in a few um, surgery groups on Facebook. So I did, you know, announce this problem that I was having, which is I've been extremely itchy. So it started at six weeks post-op where I was just itchy 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 and it was just like not even just 
my butt my butt wasn't even the one the part that was itchy it was mainly like my stomach area in the front my back um then it started to be where i was overthinking it so much where it was, began my hair was itchy my um arms my legs and like literally i have scratch marks all over my body from like my back area to my stomach of me just itching because i just been extremely itchy so i kind of announced it to see like if it had anything to do with surgery or if i need to go to the freaking doctors because it's just me or something so a lot of the girls in the groups were saying that yes it's part of the healing process and that it's something that's common in girls who do get surgery that they're going to be itchy. So some girls, they say that start itching right after surgery. Thank God that didn't happen, which I knew that was going, I knew I was going to be itchy. Like I said, I've seen some girls talk about being itchy during the BBL journey, but it wasn't a lot of girls. So I didn't really think that it was going to be a problem for me, but it is. So I kind of just want to let anyone know who might be going through the same experience that I'm going through with being itchy of some stuff that I've been using to relieve the itching the itchiness and to relieve the discomfort that I've been having. So in the beginning of anyone who's watched my um video of what's in my BBO bag when I'm taking to Miami and everything like that, they know that I bought this. I got this at the Dollar Tree for a dollar and it's been a lifesaver. I even packed this to I packed this to Miami because I was told that I might be itchy after Miami. I mean, you know, after my surgery and that this will be a lifesaver for anyone who's itchy so then they can use this to scratch their back and i wasn't itchy until now at six like i said at six weeks i was um that's where the itchiness began and it's still itchy to this day at you know two months post-op so i've been using this so this has definitely been a lifesaver to get certain spots that i'm not able to get so i do advise anyone who is going to be doing their bbo journey to definitely get one of these um you might not get the itchiness at all but i'm pretty sure you will because um, like I said, for the most part, um, I was told that the itchiness, the reason why we're itchy is because it's like a healing process. It means your body's healing and everything like that. So that's why you're itchy. So I think everyone probably goes through itchy phrase. It might not be like, it might not be right after surgery. Like how some girls is right after surgery might be itchy or it might be like me where it's like two months down the line and you're just not getting that itchiness effect. So I definitely advise you to get one of those. You can get it at literally the 99 cent only store or the Dollar Tree or maybe order it off Amazon or whatever the case is, but I don't even know what the name of that stick is. I just know it's, oh, back scratcher. You probably type in back scratcher on Amazon or something like that. But like I said, if you have a dollar store or a 99 cent store locally where you live, I advise you to get one of those. And I've been using Dermal Blast. So there's different versions of this. So make sure you get the blue bottle. That's like this. That's for pain, burn, and itch. And I actually had this on hand already because I was a surrogate previously and um, I was told because I was watching all these surrogate videos and stuff like that with the packing hospital bag and um, I pretty much was told that this is good for down there in the vagina area for like swollen like for like you know when you're swollen down there and stuff and it, you know just I, that's what I was told so. Um, I actually got this from the hospital, so the hospital gave me this. So I've been um, using it actually to put on my skin for like my back and stuff like that. So it's been like helping for my itchiness and stuff like that. So it helped literally instantly. As soon as I put this on, it helped. So one of the girls in the surgery group actually recommended to get this. So it's been a lifesaver. So I definitely recommend for you to get this if you can, because this definitely helps with my itchiness. Another lifesaver is that been that I actually been using this before I was even itchy or anything like that. But I was told that aloe vera is a good way just to help with your like if you have any scarrings or anything like that, scarring, bruising, anything like that for that effect. And um, I didn't have any bruising. Or scarring other than the little excisions that I had due to me getting the BBL when they took the fat out but I've been using it pretty much for my stretch marks because I was told that that helps um, with stretch marks and everything this helps with a lot of stuff so I've been just you know using this to do my massages with so I'll do self massages and I got this off of Amazon it came in a double pack so I already had used the second um, jar of this so um I mean the first jar so I've been using it to just do self massages. So I'll put some on the palm of my hands, do my massages and stuff like that. And that's pretty much been a lifesaver with that. So it's actually also been helping like, you know, when I feel like I'm really itchy, I'll put some of that in the itching spots. And I feel like it definitely helps with that. But 
for sure get the dermablast and like i said that helped me instantly so i recently went to walmart because the itching came back again aggressively and it's not like that i'm itching every day or anything like that and if i am it's like really lightly where i'm like okay this is a light itch i can handle this but there's some time or recently it's been like it got an intense thing where i'm like okay i'm gonna rip my skin off i need to go handle this so i got some allergy pills i was told to get like benadryl and stuff like that so i just got the walmart brand and pretty much is allergy relief. It says it helps with sneezy, runny nose, itchy, watery eyes, itchy throat and nose. So it's just allergy pills. And um, I take a total of four a day. I take like two when I first wake up, eat my breakfast. And then I take two at night right before, I'm, or two before I'm about to go to sleep. So then it can help too with that. Just, I've been taking it. So I just, I bought all this stuff um, from Walmart like two days ago. So it's been like two days that I've been taking this, but I definitely was um, planning on doing like a two week um, update with you guys and letting you guys know like, hey, don't get this or hey, this has been working. So, so far I can say it's been working because I haven't been having that intense itch, but even previously, um, like I said, it started at six weeks, the itchiness, but it's not like every single day I'm like, oh, you know, like really itchy. It's just that there's certain times of the day that I feel like ripping my skin off. You know what I'm saying? So I also got this. This is a Walmart brand and it's called Itch Relief. It's a gel. And I feel like this worked instantly as well where as soon as I put it on the itchy spot, it was like a cool feeling. And then it, the itchiness like, you know, lightly went away. And I felt like you have to really rub this in really good because it kind of leaves like uh, a residue in a sense. Like it kind of leaves like, um, like white marks like white stuff on your skin if you don't really rub it in too good because i noticed that with that so other than that it works i do like it but i just didn't like the part that it left like some type of white residue on your skin after using it i also got this which is the walmart brand and um it's called hydro Corazone. i believe that's how you say it and um it pretty much is an anti-itch spray and it helps with the same stuff like i said with itchiness so i just spray it on my skin and it helped but i advise because i had used this and this um um it's the same thing it's um, hydrocone zone cream and it says fast itch and relief and i had first put some of the cream on and then i poured this and my like i'm not sure if because maybe i was itching and i had like scratches and scars on me but it literally started to burn really bad after me putting the cream on and then me putting this on so i advise you don't do that so i haven't tried it again since that happens because i didn't like that burning sensation that i had on my skin afterwards like i felt like my skin was like on fire so this is just the cream version this was 88 cents um, I believe the spray was like $5. Um, the pills that I've got, the allergy pills, are $7. Um, the gel was $3. This gel was $3. And then I also buy um, another, it's um, Cortisone 10 cream. So this was a little bit more pricey. This was like maybe $8 or $7 for the cream. So I just wanted to kind of just try different brands and different stuff. So for the most part, I did get Walmart brand stuff. This is just... A separate brand um it's called natureplex so this was like i said 88 cents and um this is around like nine or ten dollars for this so this is for like eczema dry skin itchy skin so this is what this is for and it's the purple pack because they have different kinds of this so they have different quarters on 10 so make sure you get the right pack it's purple and i believe they had other ones that was like blue green but each thing was like for different things that they had so which was cool but um i also been wearing a undershirt underneath like my fajas my waist trainers anything i've been wearing an undershirt so right now i have an undershirt underneath this i'm wearing my waist trainer and then i'm also wearing my um soul beauty and care shorts I'm wearing the new ones that I recently bought. That was a size 4XL. So if anyone watched my videos, I recently did a couple reviews on two different kinds of Soul Beauty and Care shorts. And I bought one that was a size 2XL. And then I bought another one, which is this pair, which is a size 4XL, which I advise, there was a, um, 
I always, I never forget, I always forget her name. There was a girl on YouTube that I watched who did a review on these and she bought like a size extra large. And I'm telling you, her butt's way bigger than mine. She's done did two rounds of BBLs and her butt is huge. And she's wearing a size extra large, which I don't know how in the hell she's wearing a size extra large because I swear I'm wearing a size 4XL and I still feel like these are tight, but these feel definitely way better than the size 2XL that I bought. So I just really like, the way it snatches your body up and how you look so good and that and how you don't have to wear like you know it's not i have the faha in their brand too but um i just don't like having the straps on me that's just like the main thing but i do love their faha as well and i do wear the faha still but kind of give you guys you know like you know i kind of show you guys my results but so like i said i'm loving my results Definitely in the future, maybe I could see myself going in for a round two after I had all my kids. I only have one kid. I feel like I want to have like at least one more kid and then probably then from there go with like doing surgeries and stuff like that. But um, I do like love the way I look and stuff. And like I tell everybody what I was even told my dang self that you don't really see your results until like three months to six months. And then after it like, well, once that year is up, after you're finally a year post-op, then definitely those are your like final results that you're gonna see. So like you're still going through the fluffy phase, you're still going to be swell and everything like that. So I, you know, I even have to tell myself so I don't get discouraged or anything like that. Like, you know, like you're, you know, you're still going through the phase of everything of swelliness and fluffiness coming out. So I just gotta keep telling myself that. Um, I'm gonna keep telling you guys that too because. Uh, you know, you just kind of get discouraged at times, like, oh, my butt was just this big right after surgery. Oh, man, like, the swelling is going down. Oh, man, like, my butt's not as big as it was before and all that stuff. So I had to just even put in my head, like, when I was, you know, doing, like, you know, my after pictures right after surgery that, like, this is not going to be my, my final stage. This is not going to be my final look. So I kind of want to just encourage you guys as well to know that, you know, this is, you know, once you're, like, right after surgery, don't expect to have that same look because, all that you know swollenness of your body and your butt is gonna go down and it's not gonna be the same so definitely kind of just wanted to show you guys that so um i like i said i am gonna insert clips of um some of the gym machines that i've used and um also in the description i'm gonna add the girls that i do when i do the floor work at the gym of what videos i love to watch that i feel like that works also um that was like pretty much it with me just being itchy me still going to the gym and working out um there hasn't been anything else um my measurements have still been the same nothing has changed so anyone who's been watching my video i'm literally like a 32 up here i'm a 36 down here and my butt area is a 47 to 48 so that fluctuates all the time um in the butt area where one minute it'll be you know a 47 the next minute will be a 48 like a 47 and a half to a 48 so that part fluctuates all the time and like i said it's just due to the fact that one day you can be really swollen and the next minute you know you'll be a little bit more toned down so my measurements has been the same unfortunately i did not get my measurements before surgery which extremely sucks because i wanted to really kind of know where i was at before surgery but i am going to be posting another before and after picture at the end of this video as well and then a couple um pictures from my photo shoot that I recently had so you guys can see my body from there but um if you guys like this video and have any questions or anything please comment below with your questions and um I'll answer you there and then I'll also address address it in my next video and um if you guys like this video thumbs up go subscribe so you can stay tuned with my journey and more update videos of how I'm going with my um process of my BBL journey and I'd like to also thank you ladies who's been following me on here and got my information on Facebook and the surgery groups and been hyping me up I just wanted to say a big thank you for you guys because it's been great and I appreciate all the love that you guys been giving it been giving me and yeah but that's the end of this video and bye
right now. And you suck right now. This is how shit about me to all.